have all my bearings in. Um, I've inspected all the bearings to make sure there is no little nicks and dings on them. They all look really nice. Um, the one with the hole is the bottom one, a wide one that goes in at the end. There's a thrust bearing in the middle, and then the rest of them are all identical. I got everything cleaned up. I got all these little channels cleaned up in my crankshaft. My crankshaft is ready to go. So now what I'm going to do is I want to put a little bit of um, assembly lube on all of these guys. And I'm going to set my crankshaft in. And then I'm going to put my top bearings in my caps and um, put a piece of plastic gauge down. Put the cap on, torque the cap so I can make sure the bearing gap is correct. Then I'm going to check the end play and make sure that this guy here is good. Torque everything down. Make sure everything spins nice and we're good to go. How I check my bearing gap is I get my bearing in my cap, bearing down there. There's no oil on top of the crankshaft here. I have a small piece of green plastic gauge there. Um, I'm using green because that's what works with my gap specs. Both bearings are in. Then I'm gonna set my bearing cap on. I'm just gonna torque this thing down and then pull it back off and measure. It's been torqued down and pull the bearing cap off. You can see there's Plastic gauge there. I'm gonna measure this in 15, and that's good enough. Now I'm just gonna repeat the same process on all the bearings. So, what I've done is I've taken out the crankshaft. Now I'm going to install the rear mounting seal. I have the bottom half in. It goes, um, see, we got a gap there and a gap there. One's wider than the other. I believe it goes wide gap out. That guy goes in, and I'm gonna put the crankshaft back in. Got the assembly lube on. Put all the bearing caps on, torque them down. This is how I check my end gap. I have a magnetic dial gauge. In my opinion, this is the easiest way to check end gap, but you can also do it with feeler gauges. I'm gonna push with the screwdriver all the way back. And then I'm gonna get this thing zeroed out, and I actually do have it. It is zeroed out right now. Then I'm going to push it the other way. So I'm gonna push it out, try it this way. Push it out, and I'm gonna look back at my gauge. 4,007 inch, uh, which is definitely within spec. Um, this, this amp, the end play on this is between two and seven, so we're right in there. I'm really happy with that, actually. Everything's torqued, correct lubrication in there, and I got my um, rear seal in. So this thing should be ready to go. That's how I install my crankshaft, that's how I check my bearing gaps, and my end play.